Hey, what's going on workforce? Brian and Mikey here, and today in both surprising and unsurprising news, Bungie and Activision have parted ways. They've announced this via Twitter, via battle.net, via bungie.net, and honestly, I think <laughs> my first reaction was, what? Okay, that's, is this good or this, is this bad? What does this mean? As somebody who is a fallen away Destiny player, who I guess since it is my number one viewed video, a famously quitting Destiny uh, <laughs> maker here, the the want and the love of the franchise still is you know exists. It's still persistent. So uh, Activision is going to be transferring all the publishing rights over to Bungie. Uh, does this give them more freedom? Does this free them from this? Activision mindset. Uh, we've <laughs> long since, you know, kind of been wary of Activision. EA and Activision kind of have uh, their names that go hand in hand, and hopefully this is a guy who won't ever have to deal with that kind of crap. Anyway, I, I say this because one of the things that we've often uh, taken issue with Destiny is its content rollout, its schedule, its, its, its payment model. It's seemingly like we're going to try and get yeah, you yeah. <laughs> have. He's trying to eat my face. Uh, seeming like they're always trying to get into our wallets. Um, it just felt like Destiny was always a subscription-based game, uh, or it would have benefited from that model. I know it's a tough model to kind of to to sell, but they did it anyway. They made you pay every couple of months uh, for a DLC content drop, and they called it an expansion. And that that ended up just leading on. Now Bungie has said they learned a lot from Forsaken, and as a longtime player, I. I said no, like I said no after Destiny 2 that I would not be purchasing any more content and Forsaken dropped and I did not purchase the content. The base game did get better. Uh, I really have enjoyed the franchise and I'm part of me, the hopeful part of me, the part of me that wants them to win, that wants them to deliver is like, maybe it's been Activision this whole time just keeping Bungie in check. Thus, you know, when Destiny 2 launched, they were listening to all the wrong people because Activision said, hey, you gotta hit this target and this target and this target demo. Uh, and then those target demos like played the game and left and everybody who's a real hard, die hard fan of this game uh, just left. Or is this the final death nail? Um, you know, it's gonna be a slow march most likely uh, for them because Bungie also announced they were wanting to work on another franchise that they were teaming up through Activision with this Chinese developer. And we haven't obviously heard much about that. We probably wouldn't hear anything more about that for three or six years, depending on like the scale of the games. Like if they're just little, you know, mini games or like a real franchise kind of kind of deal. So I saw this and this is the official joint statement from Activision and Bungie. And they say today we're announcing plans for Bungie to assume full publishing rights and responsibilities for the Destiny franchise. Going forward, Bungie will own and develop the franchise and Activision will increase its focus on owned IPs and other projects. Activision and Bungie are committed to a seamless transition of the Destiny franchise and will continue to work closely together during this transition on behalf of the community and Destiny players around the world. All right, so let's break you know just this concept down. It's still gonna be in Battle.net, but does this mean it will come to Steam? Does it mean we might finally see a roadmap to crossplay? I think crossplay would be something that could easily bring me back into this franchise. They gave me the game on PC as a part of this underperforming, let's try to get more players into it, and I think they just have burned so many bridges. The question is, is can Destiny be saved? Should it be saved, or, <laughs> um, or, or is it time to move on? And personally, I think that it can and it should be, at least they should try uh, to save it. There's a lot of really hardcore fans. Uh, I think the gameplay has always been phenomenal, but it always felt weird. It felt like this was a weird relationship the, together. Now, what does this mean for PlayStation 4 owners and their exclusive early time DLC content, which is just awful? Uh, and not as somebody who <laughs> who doesn't have the option to play on PlayStation 4, it just, when you get into that, it always is seeming weird. When you talk about PC, Xbox, PlayStation, this is a game, Destiny's a franchise, Destiny's a community that always should have been together, should have, you know, just been able to play together, even if not in crossplay, because of, I guess, just uh, different system performances, at cross progression, the ability to pick up and play with my friends on PC, on Xbox, on PlayStation. Uh, at least they did that with the clans. <laughs> oh, it, there's so much they got right and so much they got so close to right in so many areas that it was just like, I, I, I don't know if this is good news and I would love to know if you guys think it's good news or bad news or no news <laughs> at all. 
I, I'm not necessarily most pleased with Activision right now. Their, their move is with Call of Duty and adding in all this patched market stuff after the fact, after the reviews, after people said, oh wow, you know, battle, you know, Blackout 4, it's good. And they're doing all this stuff. They're doing all these shady things. And I, a part of me that hopes and joy and everything thinks that this could be good for, for Destiny. This could be good for Bungie. Or this could be them cutting off a lot of funding for the game and Bungie forced to seek outside investments or come up with a better model um, for playing this game and this franchise. And it will be weird because you have Destiny and Destiny 2. So obviously I think this kind of gets them out of the, the worry of putting out a Destiny 3. And that's one reason why I haven't even bothered to jump into Forsaken because if everything's just gonna get reset, if everything's just gonna go back to zero in one year, in two years, why make any kind of long-term investment in this franchise? It was sold as a 10-year franchise. They said that, oh, we meant that you we would honor you and your name and all of that, which was just, it, it, the, <laughs> the price of going to Destiny 2 was too high. We lost too much. Um, they could have easily changed that. MMOs change this all the time. View this as an MMORPG shooter, <laughs> shared world. And I think that's when you start to actually break down the walls and break down the things that separate uh, this from being an okay game to being something truly legendary. Anyway guys, for Work to Game, my name is Brian. This is Mikey. I'm hitting the, <laughs> the desk, shaking the camera. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Let's have that conversation. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, <laughs> like I said, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Oh, hello. Were you expecting somebody? Chuck-like? <laughs> well, I'll never tell where he is. Only that if you want to see your friend again, you should totally hit subscribe. And maybe even a thumbs up. Thumbs down don't make me happy. And when I'm not happy, something happens to Chuck. <laughs> I'm not here. Goodbye. Subscribe. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. See you next time.